Welcome to the 311 Griffins channel, you guys. I uh, wanted to do uh, kind of a shout out or some kudos to the Eagle Dynamics team and f to Matt Wagner for their latest um, update, mini update on the Viper. There's a lot of good stuff that's going to come out in release, um, which is really cool. Like, I don't think we're going to have to wait as long for some of the stuff in the Viper as we did in the Hornet. And some of it's probably because it's similar to the Hornet maybe or they're working in conjunction with each other the teams maybe I don't really know but what I really want to focus on is this next line here so they're gonna announce a release date next week so they're committing to commit to a release date which is exciting that's really cool um, we've also been in this 20% discount which they do on a lot of their modules pre-release if you pre-purchase them which is cool um, but it's you know, so the reason for this is WAGS is trying to make sure everybody knows that the 20% is going to be gone soon. Um, you need to buy it now. You know, that's good for them because people will buy their module, but it's really good for us because if you wait until it's released, you're going to be paying full price if you want it. And so I, I think it's, it's cool that they keep reminding us that the 20% off will be ending. Um, they don't have to do that. They do want us to buy the module. Um, they're making it easy for us to save a little bit of money right now. This next line is what I'm kind of what kind of surprised me. It will probably be over a year until we put the Viper in a sale. They don't have to announce stuff like that. And again, it's it's he's basically saying buy it now, don't wait. But he doesn't have to say that. And if you want it and you want it on sale, if you don't buy it before the release date, um, you're gonna have to wait to buy it or you're going to have to pay full price. And anyway, it's a small thing. It probably doesn't matter to a lot of people, but um and I know Eagle Dynamics is quite a bit different than other um developers because of their size and because of the niche market that they're working in. Um so they do operate a little bit differently and maybe this shouldn't be such a such a big surprise, but with the the small issues that I do have with Eagle Dynamics and with the, the decisions that they make here and there, um, they do so much more correctly, I think. Um, they manage things pretty well for the most part, I think. And, and um, uh, so anyway, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way they've handled most everything. The, the issues that I have are usually either really fixable issues within the game that are things that just need to be tweaked uh, over time, or I've had some issues with the way moderators in their forums have acted uh, from time to time that I won't get into now because I, it, it's not supposed to be a negative video and um, I want to be helpful if I'm going to say things, talk about those kinds of things. I don't want to just spout off about how frustrating it, it was or whatever. So those are all different subjects. But this is the kind of stuff that Eagle Dynamics does that's that's pretty cool. Announcements on their Facebook page that give more information than other software companies would probably give. Um, committing to things when other software companies probably wouldn't. Um, announcing sales, making really long sales with very clear end dates. Uh, and then, and then in this case, announcing uh, in future intentions about when they're going to put something on sale and when they're not. Um, that's actually very surprising to me. So anyway, hats off to them for um, their good interaction with the community and trying to listen to the community and do a good job of uh, supporting the community that supports them back. And and I think it's a really it's a really cool thing. And there's some some potential for. Um, really cool interaction in the future as well. Uh, that is it for now. Thanks for watching.